So this is our room at the Riviera Resort. We're on the west uh, side, the west wing, on the fourth floor. Uh, I'm gonna start you guys off with the entryway though. Okay, here's the door when you walk in. And your view right when you walk in is there's like this little shelf here and your recycling and garbage is right there. And um, you have a nice mm -hmm. size closet right here to the left. It'll be left or right depending on where your room is. But um, inside we have extra pillows and blankets. Uh, there's an iron in here. There's actually a vacuum in here. Um, and then a safe. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then there's a pack and play here. What is this, Jim? Like, some sort of tray. It's a tray thing. Like, I don't know what this is exactly for. I feel dumb right now, but <laughs> that is there. Do you know what it is? You can use it. And then, of course, we have our hangers and bags for dry cleaning. And um, there's the ironing board. And our luggage is kind of thrown in here, too. To the right of the door, there's some hooks to hang your jackets and things. And then we immediately get bathrooms here. So, it's a split bathroom, which is really cool. So we've got the, a toilet here and, um, you know, your linens. And then we have the shower. And let me go into the shower. There's a bench in here, which I really like. And then we've got your shampoo, conditioner, and your body wash. And then there's a little cubby here for anything you bring along with you. on the wall, I didn't show you the art. And then there is a second half to the bath. This is where the sink is, so there's only one sink. Um, I like two sinks personally, but on short trips, one sink's just fine. Got a nice big mirror, got our makeup mirror here. And we have um, facial soap and body lotion and tissue. And we also have a tub. So this unit has a shower and a tub as separate, but of course you can also shower in the tub. Um, I guess I should mention this is a deluxe room. It's a deluxe studio um, unit. So we were gonna get um, one of the small rooms on the top floor that had the pull-out bed, but then we were like, well, most people are probably not gonna be staying in those rooms, and we wanted to get a room that was more, you know, likely to be used by by most people. Um, and then the hair dryer is under here. And most people aren't gonna want the tiny room upstairs with the pull-out bed, so <laughs> we got this room. Got a nice full length mirror here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, yes, you can separate these two bathrooms. There is a sliding door. So if someone wants to go to the bathroom in privacy while someone wants to take a shower, brush your teeth, it's totally doable. All right, moving on. We've got our little kitchenette over here. So we've got some, I don't know if there's anything, just empty cupboards, I'd take it. Oh, there's trash in here. I'll open that one up. We've got a fire extinguisher and just extra, you know, stuff to clean dishes, extra toilet paper, all that fun stuff. We've got our sink and paper towel. Um, oh, okay, so we got a toaster, a can opener, a corkscrew, and an ice bucket, and then there's some dishes and stuff up here. Nice. Yeah, nice. And then we got more dishware. And straws, even the paper straws. It's a DVC hotel, that's why. I think. Yeah, it's a DVC. Um, and then here's all of our stuff for coffee. And it is a Cuisinart in here. And uh, we have a microwave. I don't know if there's anything above that, just some storage space. And then our fridge. Is this a fridge freezer or just a fridge? Tiny freezer. And a it's got a little itty bitty freezer within it. Okay. Okay, so this unit has a queen bed in it, and there's a little nightstand to the side here. When we've got um, all of our outlets that we need. Show those lights on. This, I love this headboard. It's really pretty. Is this plush right here? I think this is. It is. Yay. No hit in your head. Um, another nightstand on the other side with your phone. And some more outlets right here. Plug your smart stuff in. The base of the bed has a couple of drawers, which is really cool. And they're nice and deep, too. And there is some space underneath the bed as well to put your luggage if uh, you don't have room in the closet there like we do. 
across from the bed is the television and I'm not sure what you call this. I mean, <laughs> there's a countertop here. I guess you call it with some outlets here. And then this is a pullout bed. So a little twin. Jim's going to pull that out. Isn't that pretty? What's this nice little mural along it? And then I already showed you guys where the, um, the pillows and stuff for this was. They're in the closet. So nice little pull out there for another person joining you. Goes right back up. Beside that, we've got two, uh, two chairs on a table, nice big mirror. Maybe having your breakfast or a midday snack. And then across from that table and chairs, we've got a couch and a little coffee table, which has a nice little book on it. Which is kind of different. I haven't, Disney hasn't really done that before. That's kind of cool. And uh, some art. And then this magically transforms. We're going to see if Jim can do this without me, but if he can't, then um, I'm turning this off and we'll, <laughs> we'll come back. Oh, it looks like he's doing it. Do we have to pull all those cushions off? Maybe, maybe not. We'll figure it out. There's no instructions. Yeah, there's no instructions, and we didn't even know this was in here, so we, we just found out. I think you have to take, maybe. No, this slides up. Okay. Slides up. Oh my god, that's cool. Yeah, save the book. Another bed! <laughs> this has 101 Dalmatians for the art behind it. This is really cute. So you can sleep up to five people in this unit. Pull out the other bed. Let's have all the beds out. <laughs> there. We got the Tangled bed, the regular Riviera bed, the 101 Dalmatians bed. <laughs> We can each take a bed. Yeah, and then throw all of our stuff on that one. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. And it, and actually, if you do have five people with you, well, or two. even, well, no, I'm just saying, if you have five people, or maybe even six if you're counting like a little baby, that absolutely makes sense why they do this this way, why they have a tub shower here, and why there's a shower here, and why there's this little divider. So if you have that many people in the room, this is a nice, however, a second sink would be nice too, but no, oh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty well done. Yeah, can, yeah Jim just pointed out, well, you can use this sink. <laughs> I guess so. Technically, you could. All right, let's put all these beds back and go out onto our uh, balcony here. Here is our balcony with a view of the water and the Caribbean Beach Resort. I've kind of got a Mickey thing going on right here. It looks Mickey. And it's not quite a full ear, but almost. Obviously, that's what they were going for. So we have a view of the quiet pool and of the water and the, the neighbor resort. It's a lot quieter down here now. This morning, it was just a madhouse because of all the media events. And it's still going on like throughout the resort. There'll be signs up for media and people in line waiting to get into whatever it is that the resort is showing. And hopefully, it'll be quieter tonight. It's a nice view. Yeah, and the music's nice too. I feel like I'm in Epcot. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, Jim. Like, yeah. just the music's kind of. We feel like you're in the France Pavilion or the yeah. Italy Pavilion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a French theme. Well, yeah, it's the Riviera, so that makes sense. But it's kind of funny feeling like that's where you're at. But you're not in Epcot. Nope. And there's a. A little table and two chairs, as is pretty standard in uh, Disney resorts that have lanai's or balconies. Look at the super cute art by the big bed. Mademoiselle Mouse. <laughs> oh, can we shut the curtains so you can see it better? There we go. How cute is that? There is a little bit of storage space also underneath the coffee table. So there's some drawers down here too for some are clothes and stuff. Deep. Yeah, they're pretty deep too. Yeah. So there's not a lot of drawers in this unit, um, but they're all deep. The ones that, that are here are deep. Yeah, there's no dresser. No, there's no dresser because they're trying to make more room for beds. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go walk around the resort now, show you guys the pool, the lobby, the bus stops, the all that, all that, all the stuff you need to see. <laughs> All right, we're at the main pool. I don't remember the name of the main pool. 
I'll um, I'll put it below <laughs> so you guys can see the, the name of it. But there's two pools. There's the you know the quiet pool and the and the main pool. And this is the main. And here's the slide. I'm gonna go uh, walk around so you guys can see from every angle. There's lots of nice seating around this pool. Lots of cushions. And of course, you've got your lounge chairs, umbrellas. Behind the pool, we've got large Jenga set up, jumbo Jenga, <laughs> and kind of like a life-size, like a huge, large um, billiard, like a pool table that you play, I guess, with your hands. I'll it's kind of fun, it. or kick. Yeah, I'm not sure what the rules are when you play like that. Anyway, back to the pool. I want to get an angle from um, the very far end here, guys. There we go. Nice, good view of the pool. No one quite in it yet because it's still early. It's going to be warm enough today, though, I think, for the pool. Jim's going to see about going down that slide. Um, but in a couple days, it's going to be in the 60s, so it will not be warm enough. But today's supposed to up to like 82, so I think that's warm enough. We got like ice cream over here for sale. Walk over to the um, little splash pad or um, water playground, I think is what they call it. Here's another view of the pool uh, slide. Here's where you can rinse off in fresh water, and uh, there is the uh, towels available and towel return. Hot tub! It took us a minute to find this. I'm not really sure why, because it seems so apparent now, but we walked right past it. All right, we're at the water play area. And this is themed to um, Fantasia. I'm trying to trying to avoid the sun here, guys, but it's kind of hard. This is so cute. <laughs> I wish I was a little kid, because I want to play in this. <laughs> Like there's a total of three slides. Like there's like littlest kid and a little bit bigger kid and even bigger kid. <laughs> so three levels of slides on this uh, splash pad. A Jim shooting a cannon. <laughs> Wait, is it three slides or just two? No, it's two slides. We're wrong, guys. It is two. So that's the same slide that goes down that way. Just playing with it again. Don't get anybody wet, Jim. <laughs> There's a view from the back side of the pool. Nice you scan over, you see Caribbean Beach Resort. And then there's this nice little, um, like just sandy, beachy area that you can lounge in that's behind the pool. So I wanna kinda show you what I'm talking about, like how you get to it. There's a walkway all along here and here's like the resort itself. But if you follow it, from the pool, which is right here. It'll take you to that little beach area. Can't swim that water though, guys. You wouldn't want to anyway. There's the gondolas going to and from the Caribbean beach. Over to the Riviera. Just giving you guys a nice shot of the resort from the back. And there's the Skyline Station. You see them coming in and out. All right, we're gonna show you guys the quiet pool now. The quiet pool is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's actually pretty sizable, but um, probably because they only have the one, unlike some of the moderates they've got several smaller quiet pools around. Um, there's just the one here, so it's pretty big. And lots of nice seating all around it too. And there is a spa slash hot tub back here. Here's the hot tub over by the quiet pool. Looks to be about the same size as the one over at the main pool. And it still has these nice comfy couch-like seats back here. I love these. Okay, we're gonna go into the quick service restaurant, Primo Piatto. And there are two entrances into this. So there's an outside entrance and then there's an inside entrance right over there within the hotel, in the resort. Menu up top, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We got little ice creams over here. It's quick grab snacks and cereal. There's all of our drinks. We've got yogurt, fruits, spreads, 
sandwiches and stuff, and cheese, and there's some ready-made sandwiches, charcuteries, and cheese, and uh, salads. And we got baked goods in here. Breakfast sandwiches. This will change out throughout the day, depending what time of day it is. And bagels and croissants and muffins. There's some cookies in here. And this will change to more dessert type things in the evening. Just above it, there's some um, breakfast cereals and fruits and chips. And behind the uh, order station is where you get your teas and coffees, things like that. And all your um, condiments and sugars and silverware and stuff. Of course, they've got the refill stations over here. So I was mistaken, there are three entrances and exits. <laughs> um, but this is the seating area. And they do um, bring you your food and they do take your plates. Um, you can bring your own plates up. There are stations for you to clean up after yourself. But if there's cast members walking around, they will take them. Um, and of course, that's just for the food that you order, not for the grab and go stuff. Here is the entrance from the inside of the hotel, and they do have menus right outside. Nice and big ones, so you can read them before you walk in. In the lobby, there is La Petite Cafe. It has um, beverages, coffees and things. So it's just a small little um, coffee place. And it does have, um, I heard they had croissants, although, I'm not really seeing it on the menu. There we go. We got croissants, cinnamon twists, banana bread, and there are a couple of treats over here too. And I heard from um, a cast member that works here who is from France that the croissants are very good. The store in the cafe is the boutique which is the gift shop, and I'm gonna go in there later, guys. It is very busy in this lobby right now because it is opening morning, um, opening day, the morning of opening day. So I'm gonna kind of walk through this a little later in the evening, hopefully it'll be quieter. Okay, we're heading to the buses now. So you go out the main entrance of the lobby and make a right, and you follow this walkway to the buses. Pretty fountain. It is so busy here that a valet has parked cars like all along this road here. Normally cars aren't allowed to be here. <laughs> and we were valeted this morning. They gave free valet to anybody checking in because there was a media event this morning and I think all the media took up, media took up most of the regular parking basically. So, okay. Here are the bus stops and we are going to, uh, it's not on here. No, there it is. <laughs> I'm tired, you guys. Bus stop four. Well, we are walking to bus stop four to get some lunch because it's too crazy to have lunch in the resort right now. Let's see what our wait time is. It just says bus, so we don't know. <laughs> All right, we're headed to the Skyliner to take a ride to Epcot. I mean, I wanna, I wanna. So our room's right up there because this is below us. Nice little rose garden. Yeah. really beautiful murals um, for Peter Pan and Tangled as you walk through there guys but there's media and stuff all over it right now <laughs> so I can't film it but I will film it on our way back Okay, it's evening and a little bit quieter here at the resort now that all of the media is gone. So, I am going to show you guys the lobby now, as well as the gift shop. So right when you walk into the lobby, on the right is Bell Services. And then straight up ahead here is check-in. However, in the morning when it's really busy and there are a lot of people checking in, uh, this was ki is kind of like an overflow check-in. Uh, at this point, Disney does kind of expect that people are going to be using 
the um, online check-in, the self-check-in. So there's not like a big check-in counter over here. It's a seating right here in the center. Not a huge lobby, but DVC resorts tend to not have very big lobbies. We've got a staircase here, and honestly, I will say this is the only thing that Jim and I found a little frustrating so far with the resort. If, any, if anything, this is probably the only thing, is the stairwell here. It was very busy during the day, and it's very small. <laughs> so it can be hard to get up and down these stairs when there's a lot of people. All right, we're gonna go into the boutique now. It was too busy this morning, so we're giving it a shot now. It's about 9 p.m. We've got holiday merchandise here. Some pins. Here's the holiday pin for the Riviera and it flips around. If I can get to do that single, there we go. <laughs> and this is $17.99. There's even a pillow. <laughs> and they've got little plushies of the costumes that Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy wear up at the character breakfast which we'll be showing you in another video because we are doing that. I love Daisy. This is so cute. She's supposed to be a dancer. How much are you guys? I do like Mickey and the painter. Outfit too. $21.99. Super cute. They have a, I have them in keychain key form too, but only Mickey and uh, Minnie. And the keychain versions of them are $12.99. Look at these cute little dresses, little, little kids. Cute little shirts. And these Disney Riviera coloring books. I believe they're coloring books, that's what it looks like. Auto oh, it's an autograph book with coloring pages and markers. That's really cute. Which are you? $19.99. I like that. That's really perfect for like Epcot too, I think. There are Riviera ears. These are super pretty. We got some vacation club member merchandise since this is a DVC resort. And then um, here's all the, the uh, shampoos and body lotions and stuff that they sell from the H2O Plus beauty line. Or vacation club member stuff. Lots of pins. Skyliner shirts up here because we're on the Skyliner. I guess I should say because it's a Skyliner resort. Here's another Riviera pin. The uh, convenience items like medicines and just soap and baby um, products like diapers and things. Even baby food and swimmy diapers. And of course we have to have the Goofy Candy Co stuff and all the snack mixes. Those are all in here. Along with um, some stuff for the bigger rooms, the like villa type thing. Uh, what, the rooms that have the full kitchens, there's some cooking stuff in here too. Ours doesn't have a full kitchen, it just has the kitchenette. And um, more food over here again for like the kitchens. Cooking breakfast or staying in for the night and we'll just make a meal inside the room. Oh, we have some deli meats in here and Lunchables and uh, milk and stuff. And then water and tea and juice. And then um, some adult beverages and wine. And then even more adult beverages behind the counter here. You just have to ask and they will get it for you. So the boutique isn't very big, but it has a good selection. It has what you need and has a lot of the fun resort merchandise. And it has more resort merchandise, themed merchandise than I thought it would. And that might be partly because it's a new resort and they know a lot of people are gonna want uh, resort merchandise. Okay, I'm coming back into uh, Le Petite Cafe in the evening so I can show you guys kind of the yummies that are in here in the evening at dinner time. And they look wonderful. Look at that fruit tart. Yum. And here's how the menu kind of changes once evening hits. So we have um, beer, hard cider, and waters, and specialty cocktails, and wine. And um, right after you leave, um, 
if you go through and walk through of the cafe, you can come in here and there's a little lounge area. And it's very cool. It looks like a library. It has a name and I will, I will uh, actually, it signs right out here. Let me come back out this hallway here. There you go, the Voyager's Lounge. That is what it's called. Anyway, let's go back into it. So it looks like a library. And there's um, little checkerboards and there are books all along it. Nice TV in here that's usually showing sports. But it's got lots of really cool old Disney merchandise behind glass. That's really cool. I kind of want to go through and look and see what all the books are on the shelves here. But I'm not going to do that. Oh, look, there's Pinocchio. Peter Pan. Plush Mickey here. It's really cool. The three little pigs. Just a nice little place to sit down and have a drink, have a chat with friends. There's a nice Christmas tree in here. It's a very handsome Christmas tree. It's got books up top. Just across and outside the hall, there's all these pictures of Walt. I think there's a little balcony over here. Um, off the lobby, I'm gonna walk over to it. So that if you don't have room with the balcony, yeah, I think you can go just go right out here. Let's find out. No, it's locked. <laughs> I'm a liar. Anyway, there's a little seating room, like a little balcony here. I don't really know what it's for or if it's supposed to be opened up and unlocked, like at the Floridian or at the boardwalk, but right now it's locked. All right, I'm going to go downstairs and outside just to kind of show you guys the outside at night we've been out here once before but um that was to show you the pool and stuff i haven't shown you the fitness center so i'm taking you there so once you get down these steps off the lobby you make a right and go through these doors and fitness center it's like right here immediately to your right and it's empty and there's no hours, but my guess, oh, I think it's 24 hours. There is no sign, but my guess is it's 24 hours. It doesn't appear to be anybody in here. And just past the fitness center, there is a washroom. Um, okay, so let's see. So the fitness center's here. The door back into the lobby's here. You can kind of see where I walk down. These are those stairs I walk down that think are too narrow <laughs> don't fit a lot a lot of people going up and down just kind of one way um, there's a nice big map right here to help you find everything so this is sort of the courtyard we've got chess right here large chess board and um, I think this is where they do the movies on the lawn, right here in the middle. If I, rem if I remember correctly, it makes sense. It's that um, fake turf. So, and this is big enough for it. So I think this is where they show the movies at night. And then um, there's a large, large bocce ball set up over here which I couldn't really look at this morning with the media event because there was confetti all over it <laughs> and they were vacuuming it up and um, so nobody could actually play with it. But yeah, that's kind of cool and different. Okay, I'm going to walk over to the pool bar now because I showed you guys the pools this morning because that was the only area of the resort that was quiet because <laughs> it was just so loud and crowded and busy everywhere this morning and so I thought where can I go that's not going to be insanely crowded and busy and that was cool so I went to the pool first thing but the pool bar um, didn't appear to be open yet so I didn't film it so here we go it's bar viva which actually is a lot 
bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's a nice sizable bar. It's very nice. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But I think that's partly due to the fact that there really isn't a big bar anywhere else on the property. There is alcohol served at um, Le Petit ca uh, Cafe um, and then up at the restaurant, but I don't, is there a bar upstairs at, by the restaurant? I don't know. Anyway, nice size bar, open and airy, nice and quiet back here in the evening. Nice and quiet, period. I was kind of worried that it was just going to stay loud, but uh, no, it's very pleasant here now. Okay, something else I wasn't able to show you earlier was the um, murals that are just, uh, as you uh, go to the Skyliner, there's this just beautiful Tangled and Peter Pan murals in the little tunnel, I guess, or walkway to the Skyliner. And I wasn't able to show you guys that because, again, just people everywhere and, you know, filming and taking pictures. So I'm hoping it's a little quieter now um, so that I can show them to you. Okay, here we go. I can show it to you. <laughs> now, I'd rather do this during daylight, but I'll take this just because you can see it, kind of, without people everywhere. But here's um, the Tangled one, the tower, and it goes all the way. You see all the lanterns. It goes all the way across and down. And there's the castle and the village. Isn't that cool? This is beautiful in person, especially during the day. <laughs> it's gonna get really close so you can see all these little tiny tiles. They look like um, chiclets. You know the gum? <laughs> Looks like gum. Okay, and then, um, then we have uh, Peter Pan over here. So, here we've got Big Ben and Fairy Dust. goes all the way up and there we see Peter Pan and Wendy and the boys and then on this end we have Neverland so cool I kind of showed you guys the Skyliner not really but um so at this resort you make a left here and that'll take you to the um, Skyliner that goes straight to Epcot there's no uh, you don't have to get off, it's a straight shot. Uh, and then if you want to go to any of the other resorts that are on the Skyliner, or if you want to go to um, Hollywood Studios, you go straight and you get on the, those Skyliners. Okay, right in front of all the elevator bays on the carpeting, there's this, it looks almost like a rug, but um, it's a pattern on the, in the carpet. And if you look, we got all of the characters here. We got Mickey. And Minnie, <laughs> and Donald, and Goofy, and Pluto. <laughs> There's also some beautiful princess art along the hallways too. And I want some more right here. Ariel. Was it this hallway? No, it wasn't this one. But um, right here we've got, this is near the elevators, and I think that's true for just about every floor where you can get ice and snacks and drinks. Okay, this was the hallway I was thinking of, which um, is the hallway my room's in, so that's probably what I remember, but there's a piece of art at the end of this hallway that I haven't seen up close yet, so we're gonna go look at it. It's more tangled art. Pretty. I do like all the art that they have on the walls here. It's just, it's kind of different um, from what, it's like a little art gallery as you walk down the hall. It's kind of cool. It's different from a lot of the other resorts. Just really neat. I like it. I thought I'd quickly show you guys the view from our room at night. There's um, the restaurant we're gonna be dining at. 
tomorrow morning, the character breakfast, which that video will be coming up after this um, video. I don't, I don't put the restaurant reviews and visits in the hotel videos anymore just because it makes them too long. So that will be uploaded after this if you guys are interested in the character breakfast. So we've had our first night here at the Riviera Resort and we slept very well. The room was really quiet. Um, I don't even know if we have neighbors right now <laughs> because it's that quiet. So it didn't take any real time to fall asleep. And I, I'm a, I have a hard time sleeping. So that says something. I have a tempur bed at home. <laughs> And this is not a Tempur-Pedic mattress, but I still slept really, really well. Um, there was one thing I wanted to point out about the sink in the room. Um, let me go show it to you guys again. Flip this over. Um, the sink is kind of tall. Like, I guess I didn't really notice initially when I was filming how tall it is. But I'm 5'3", and it probably gives about 3 inches it lands about three inches from my chest, below my chest. So it's a tall sink. Um, so if you are on the short side or you have kids with you, expect um, the children to need help getting up to the sink because there's no like stool anywhere to a step stool for children. Um, and I've stayed like the Grand Californian had a step stool for children because their sinks were a little higher. Um, but this resort does not. Not that I found anyway, and I looked through the closet. <laughs> so uh, expect the little ones needing help with the sink. Um, this resort is small. Not in the sense that there's not a lot of rooms, but it's built up instead of out. So there's not as much to explore. Like when I was filming, I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> there's just not as much ground to cover, which in another way is kind of good because it means it's easy for you to find everything. It doesn't take long to get anywhere, but yeah, there's less to explore. Um, I didn't manage to show you guys the fire pit. There is a fire pit out there, but um, yesterday there was all these camera crews and stuff and lighting and all that around it. Uh, so I couldn't film it and now it's raining out. <laughs> so it's a fire pit. It's not, you know, anything too crazy. Um, and everything else back there I showed you. So you've seen all of it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. What? Restaurant. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna. Get, I was just thinking about what's outside. Um, so the other thing about this resort is kind of its lack of food offerings. Um, the food, the places that are here are wonderful. Topolino's. Um, Jim and I have ate there, and that's gonna be in another video. Uh, but it was wonderful. We had breakfast there at the, the character breakfast and it was great. And um, we didn't eat at the little quick service place, but it looks nice. Um, and then there's the La Petite Cafe, which is just pastries, you know, and then coffee and tea and stuff. Um, there's only one bar, um, the Riva Bar, which is the pool bar and closes at 10 p.m. But there is, there are cocktails. I don't know if there's, co yeah, there's some cocktails and wine, a little bit of beer available at the La Petite Cafe in the evening, and then the lounge next to it. So you can, there is another place to get an, an adult drink, um, but there's only technically one bar on property and closes at 10. Uh, up at Topolino's uh, too, there's an outside little bar. I haven't seen it set up, um, but for di dinner, they do set up um, a little, uh, on the terrace, there's like a little bar that they set up in the evening for you to get drinks like wine and stuff and enjoy sitting outside. So um, there's one casual restaurant, one uh, sit down dine, dining restaurant, one bar, and then the little, the little coffee shop. Um, and that's it. So I, my thought is, is that because it's an easy Skyliner ride to Epcot. Maybe that's why they didn't put so much dining here. That's all I can think of. <laughs> uh, but like I said, the dining is good. It's just limited. Um, you of course can go over to Caribbean Beach, which has Sebastian's uh, restaurant. They have um, a nice pool bar with a, a good menu too. Um, do they have another bar other than that outside pool bar? I don't think so. I think that's all they have. Too. And it's a moderate resort over there, so moderates tend to not have as many dining options. And then they have their food court. Um, so 
I don't know. I guess I'm, I keep thinking about Coronado Springs because that's the last resort we stayed at. We stayed at the Grand Castino Tower and there's so many food options there and there's several bars and it's a very big resort though. Um, so that's why they have so much to do, so much to eat and so many places to lounge and get drinks. Um, and the footprint there is big. Like you can spend the day exploring that resort and walking all over. Whereas here, it's not going to take you any time at all because it's, it's small. So take that in mind, I guess. I mean, that's the other thing I was going to bring up too is the busing. Busing here is fantastic. You don't share a bus with any other resort. You are the only bus stop. There's one bus stop at this resort. And after that, you go to where you're going. You go to Magic Kingdom or, you know, Epcot, wherever you're going. Um, that can't be said for Caribbean Beach, your neighbor resort. <laughs> they have six stops. And Coronado, which I was bringing up earlier, uh, has five, I believe. It's four or five. I can't remember right now. Jim's saying four. <laughs> it's four. Um, so that's cool. I don't know if it'll stay that way, but right now, Riviera doesn't share their bus with anybody. Uh, really convenient, really nice. Only one bus stop. Super cool. And then, of course, you have Skyliner. It's it's direct to Epcot. Um, you do have to make um, a transfer when you're going over to Hollywood Studios, but it's super easy, too. Unless you're afraid of heights, then I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, I have a little note thing here. Let me look and see what else. There's a valet. I didn't show it to you guys. It's right when you pull in, like all the other resorts. There's also airline check-in, which I didn't find. I wasn't looking for it, though. <laughs> but it is here just like again all the other resorts i feel like i saw it on the right hand side when you walk in to the resort like to the lobby but i might be thinking of another resort anyway it's here i saw signs so if you can't find it just ask a cast member they will point it out to you um i think that's it um i would say if you like the riviera theme if you like french food italian food um, or just you like the location of this resort, go ahead and give it a shot. Um, Jim and I like it. We like it. But we are, we like, we like Animal Kingdom Lodge. That's our favorite resort. We like the French Quarter. Um, for a moderate, if we're going to go with a moderate, we'll go with the French Quarter. So I'd say for us, um, this is a nice resort, but I will definitely come back to eat at Tilly, uh, Tapolino's Terrace again. We liked that place. Um, but I don't know if we'll stay here again. Um, and we live 15 minutes from here. So <laughs> we really just have little staycations and stay at a different resort. And we wanted to come here on opening day. So we did for you guys to show you guys and um, just to experience staying at a hotel that's brand new. Um, we thought that would be fun. And it, it was. So uh, for us, if we were traveling from far away and had to pick a place to stay, this wouldn't be our hotel. And it's not because of anything it's done. Because like I said, transportation is fantastic. Um, and everybody's been great here and the, and the hotel's beautiful, but it just isn't our kind of theme. That's all. So uh, I think those will definitely be a favorite resort for plenty of people. Um, I think that's cool. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, hit subscribe. Um, and at the end of this, uh, well, in the description below and at the end of this, there will be a link to our prize bucket giveaway. So check that out. I'm giving away a bunch of Disney goodies on January 1st. So I want you to, I want you to win it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.